And we have Trey Yingst on the ground with some breaking developments. Trey, what do you see? Yeah, just a few moments ago, you might have seen there on our live camera a huge barrage of rockets from the northern part of the Gaza Strip. You could see the angle at which they were fired indicated they were long-range rockets. And I'm told by my producer here they are targeting Jerusalem. Air raid sirens sounding in the largest Israeli city. Uh, obviously a major, major escalation as this fighting continues. The Israeli strikes continue along the border as well, and artillery units working at this hour. I also just got off the phone with someone from the Israeli military who indicated there are staging areas all along the Gaza border. This may not only be a push from the north, but also from the east that would immediately go into Sajaya and some of these other neighborhoods in Gaza that are heavily populated, but also are used by groups like Hamas and Islamic Jihad to hide weaponry. All of this unfolding and erupting on Saturday morning when more than 1,000 Palestinian militants entered southern Israel, taking hostages and slaughtering civilians. They went to a music festival and mowed down 260 people. Many were wounded, taken from that area, and brought back into the Gaza Strip. They went to communities along Gaza and killed women and children. This was a barbaric act that unfolded. And now today, Israel is preparing their response. Behind me, you can see Israeli tanks that are staging along with soldiers. More than 300,000 reserve forces have been called up to fight in this war. There are strikes at this moment. I am seeing just now coming across in Lebanon on the northern border. So you not only have these troops staging here on Israel's southern border, but you also have strikes taking place on Israel's northern border after an infiltration attempt earlier today and also rocket fire from a Palestinian group in southern Lebanon. Very quickly, this is developing into a multi-front conflict. It's part of the reason the military posture is so high across the country. This is a state prepared for war, and the coming days will be very difficult, violent, and bloody. Back to you. Trey Yings, thank you for that breaking news report. I want